Last week was Next.js conference, and I was there in person watching the keynote and hanging out with a bunch of your favorite influencers. So first of all, Next.js 14 was announced with no new APIs. That means if you're already on Next 13, in theory, you should just be able to upgrade to Next 14 and have no issues. Came server actions, and server actions were in Next 13, but they were an experimental. In this, they are a stable release, which means you should be able to use them, not have to worry, and continue to enjoy them. We use them in a production application for Unkey. They've never really had any issues with them, so we'll happily take that as a good sign. With server actions came a little bit of drama. Now, you may have seen this tweet floating around where there is a await SQL insert into where you're taking in the slug as part of the function, and people were like, oh, SQL injection, blah, blah, blah. This was an example that Next.js had in Next.js 13, projected from SQL injection anyway, because this is using a template. If you don't know what templates are, read about them. I'll drop the link to the discussion that we've seen a year ago that's now fucking surfaced again. But the idea here is that there's, there's no way to have SQL injection when using this. And I'm super excited for server actions and what that's going to bring in the future. Then Turbo Pack got a little bit better than it did before. They're quoting that now it's 53% faster for local and 94% faster when you do a code update to what you see on the screen, which is super excited. And I can't wait for it to actually be ready. They were touting that they have done 5,000 integration tests using Turbo Pack and all of them are passing. It looks like once we hit 100% of those tests, they're gonna put Turbo Pack from beta into stable, which means we should see support for everything sort of come around. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because I think it's going to make a really big difference. And you can actually check out on the website, areweturboyet.com, and that will tell you how close they are to getting that number closer to 100%. But it's at 90% right now, which shows that they're really making progress. And hopefully that means we get a faster dev server and more speed than ever before. I'm gonna do a quick piece on the partial pre-rendering that was announced, which is super exciting. You can now do partial pre-rendering, which allows you to optimize for both dynamic and initial content. I'm gonna do a full video on it because I wanna actually play around with it more and, and play with it. It doesn't require any new APIs or anything like that. It's mostly to do with suspense and building on the boundaries of suspense. Um, but that is something that's super exciting because it was something that was missing when we moved to the app router. So now having that ability to do partial pre-rendering allows you to do the static stuff first and then, and then play around with it. Um, so look out for that video. We'll do that one really soon. But I think the biggest thing for me out of this entire announcement, which shows kind of where I'm at in the world, is they released the new Next.js Learn which allows you to get started from all the way from app router, all the way through auth, styling, Postgres data, server components, everything that you could potentially need in one place. Now, Next.js Learn, which I'll just pull up on screen, was something that was exciting back when they first released it. It was part of 12. And now with this, you can actually learn the entire thing. First, you can do these React foundations, and then you can do the start learning. And inside of here, essentially it gives you a whole application to build out. And you get to learn all of these different things, 100% free from the Next.js team. And they give you everything from adding auth, mutating data, how to use streaming, which is a new big thing that you should really learn about. And then everything else that's just kind of like Next.js stuff that's happened, sort of, you know, navigating between pages, optimizing fonts, partial pre-rendering, add search and pagination, which is like a whole thing that you probably want to learn at some point. And I think this is really showing how much Next is invested in getting people to use the framework. And if you've made it to the end of the video, click right here, there'll be another video, algorithm driven. And of course, if you're not subscribed, click right here.